Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da Edgar TV. How do there, guys, and welcome back to Edgar TV. And this one, it's going to be controversial. I can see that already. Uh, this one talks about a game shot. Now, I got this message come through. I always like to have a little look at the messages. I got this one. Um, hey, Matt, what happens in a situation where you throw a dart, then ask the referee what is left, and the referee miscounts? You finish the game based on the referee's answer, but your opponent objects, knowing that you didn't actually hit the correct score. Do you win anyway? Do you replay the turn, or do you continue the game with whatever the shot should have been? I'll just leave you that. Still not got this thing. I'll leave that there while I explain this to you now. A lot of people will say that it's game shot based on the fact that the referee told you what to hit and you hit it. The referee might have called game shot. However, a shot or a leg is only completed, obviously, when the score has been retrieved from the throw, even a leg completion. So a leg um, completion only counts uh, in the rules as... The, the required score of 501 points has been hit and called, and the darts have been retrieved. If an objection happens before that point, it does not count. And I'll tell you a story in which this happened. I'll also link you to the rules very quickly. If you look on the DRA rules, you'll see rule number... Just get this up so I get it exactly precise. Rule number 5.3.5. .5, a game shot called by a referee is only valid if the thrown darts, one, achieve the required finish of 501 points and remain in the board until retrieved by the player whose throw it was at the time of calling game shot. A leg is not completed until all darts are retrieved from the board uh, by the player who has thrown. If game shot is called by a referee is declared invalid, then the player throwing shall have the right to continue their throw. Now, what this basically means is, in this situation here, we, we've got that uh, game shot and the leg, and I turn around and go, no! <laughs> no! He hit 26 with the last dart, and he left 36. So what will happen is that they'll look at it and they'll go, you're right, actually, he still wants 10. The rules then say, the next rule down in, in on this list, if you have a look at the rules on the DRA website, it says that the referee will then take the darts. So let's say you wanted 46 and you went 10 double 13. Right? The referee will take the darts and put them back into the dartboard at the place they was. So 10, double 13, and he's got one dart left there to hit double 5. If he misses that, that's his turn. Ultimately, if they hit it with the third dart, essentially that's his throw. He wants 10 left. In this situation, even though the referee's told you what you want left, as the rules state, the game must go on because to win the leg, you need to have done 501 points. The rules also state the referee can change and the, the, uh, the score can be changed at any point of an active leg. The leg isn't closed until the darts have been retrieved from the board. So again, in this situation, the leg is not closed, so we can go back and do that. This situation did happen in Las Vegas in one of the qualifiers, where the player threw and he, he threw the darts, and then they, they put it in on Darts Connect because they thought he'd done that, uh, and then he's gone, no, you, you want this, and the officials had to come over and restart the game, put the darts back in the board, he had one dart left at double one. So, yeah, it, even though the ref's called game shot, and, and even though the ref said you want double 13, if that's not correct, you still don't get to claim the leg. It has to be 501 points, or you need to get your darts out really quick. If you realise them, say, get out there quick and get them out, because then that closes the leg. An active leg can be changed at any point of an active leg, and as per the rules, if you have a look at that, starting from rules 5.3.5, .5, unfortunately... And it goes against a, a, a bit of etiquette, I suppose, as well. Because I'm guessing this, if this happened down your local league or wherever you'd go, you did want double 18, but he said that, so that's okay. But in terms of the actual rules, in terms of playing this by the book, they get the darts out your hand, they stick them back in the board, and you want double five. So, unfortunately, although you've asked the referee and he's given you the wrong answer, that's between you and the ref. It doesn't guarantee you're winning the leg. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, or you enjoy Edgar TV and you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button underneath here. Hit a like 
on the video, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.